Have you ever wondered how the Iraq-US conflict began? Well, let's take a trip back in time to the early 90s, specifically to the Gulf War in 1991. The United States, in coalition with 34 other nations, launched Operation Desert Storm against Iraq. The primary reason? Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, a move that threatened global oil supplies and regional stability. However, the conflict didn't end with the Gulf War. Lingering suspicions about Iraq's alleged possession of weapons of mass destruction led the United States to keep a keen eye on the region. Despite Iraq's claims of compliance with United Nations resolutions, the U.S. remained unconvinced. This distrust, fueled by intelligence reports and political interests, set the stage for a deep-seated conflict. So, what began as a mission to protect global oil supplies and maintain regional stability, soon turned into a prolonged engagement that was shrouded in controversy and fraught with consequences. This was the start of a conflict that would last for more than a decade. The year 2003 marked a significant escalation in the Iraq-US conflict. The United States, along with its allies, launched an invasion that would drastically alter the course of Iraq's history. This military action, backed by a coalition of forces, resulted in the rapid downfall of Saddam Hussein's regime. This sudden power shift created a vacuum in Iraq's political landscape. With no strong central authority in place, the nation found itself on the brink of anarchy. The ensuing period was characterized by rampant insurgency, as various factions sought to assert their dominance over the beleaguered nation. The situation was further exacerbated by the onset of a civil war, which deepened the divisions within the country and further destabilized the region. This tumultuous period in Iraq's history set the stage for a myriad of challenges that would persist for years to come. The invasion's aftermath was marked by chaos, with Iraq plunging into a state of civil unrest. The conflict didn't end with the withdrawal of U.S. troops. In fact, the year 2011 marked a significant turning point in the Iraq-U.S. conflict. As American troops pulled back, a power vacuum emerged in their wake, a void ripe for exploitation. Enter ISIS, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, a group as ruthless as it was ambitious, ready to seize the opportunity. This extremist organization, born from the ashes of Al-Qaeda, capitalized on the instability left by the withdrawal. The lack of a robust local force to maintain order opened the door for ISIS to quickly and violently establish a foothold in Iraq. Their rise was rapid, their tactics brutal, and their impact severe. The withdrawal of U.S. troops far from ending the conflict had simply set the stage for a new antagonist to emerge. The withdrawal of U.S. troops marked a new yet equally troubling chapter in the Iraq-U.S. conflict. So, where does that leave us today? In the present day, Iraq is a country striving to heal, rebuild, and stabilize. The conflict has indeed left its mark, with the landscape scarred and the people carrying the weight of a turbulent past. Yet, amidst the traces of strife, there is a resolute spirit of resilience. Efforts are being made to reconstruct the infrastructure to restore the nation to its former glory. The government is working tirelessly to ensure stability, while non-governmental organizations are stepping in to provide much-needed humanitarian aid. On the other side of the ocean, the U.S. continues to grapple with the repercussions of its actions. The conflict has shaped its foreign policy, and its ripple effects can still be felt in the nation's political discourse. The Iraq-U.S. conflict has left a lasting impact on both nations and continues to shape their futures. Understanding this history is crucial to making sense of today's global politics.